Mark is uh, involved with Transport New South Wales for many, many years. He um, He's deeply involved with policy of people, culture, diversity and inclusion, and uh, was integral in the Re Reconciliation Action Plan of Transport New South Wales, which has 60,000 people. Uh, it gives me great honor to introduce Mark Champley to the to the um, to this forum where he'll acknowledge country, share with us what the meaning is. And uh, we've got our other founding member, Scott Hoskin, Scotty, um, from Transport New South Wales, who will be, um, I can see a didgeridoo in the background. So uh, Mark, over to you. Thank you very much, Ivan. Yama, everyone. Yama is hello in Kamilaroi language. Yeah. I'm Mark Champley, an ancestor of the Kamilaroi Nation. My mob comes from far northwest in New South Wales. Kamilaroi translates to not having. This means we don't focus on material things. We share what we have. We only use what we need and we care for the country like our ancestors did. As Ivan said, our group is called Yarning Circle. A yarning circle is the traditional way our Aboriginal ancestors would meet. They would form a circle with everyone seated. The circle represented unity and peace, where everyone are safe to speak their minds and tell stories. There is no hierarchy and everyone in the circle is equal and everyone has a voice. I have the proud honor of performing acknowledgement to country. Before I do, however, I would like to explain the significance of a welcome to country and acknowledgement to country, especially as we have a number of overseas guests with us today. Traditionally, a welcome to country was an invitation or permission for a person from a different area to pass through or enter. Doing so without this welcome was totally unacceptable. It is a ritual or a formal ceremony performed by an elder or knowledge holder of the clan. If wanting to enter a different country, you needed to wait at the border until someone arrived to welcome you in. If it was a large country, sometimes you had to light a small fire to let the locals know that you were waiting at the border. There are over 500 different clan groups or nations around the continent, many with different cultures, beliefs and languages. A welcome to country is like welcoming someone into your home. You let them in, however, they know where they can go, what's expected and how long they can stay. A welcome to country is performed by a local elder or someone from that country that has been given permission to perform the welcome. It is also performed today before significant events or gatherings. An acknowledgement to country can actually be performed by anyone. Many Aboriginal people would prefer the acknowledgement to be performed by a non-Aboriginal person. This shows great respect. An acknowledgement to country is an opportunity to acknowledge and pay respect to the First Nations people. Acknowledgements are often made at the commencement of an event or gathering, much like we are today, before a speech, a celebration or formal occasion. I would now like to perform the acknowledgement to country. <laughs> As we meet today on many different Aboriginal lands, I come to you from Darkenjung country. I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians and owners of the lands that we stand on. I acknowledge their continued connection to waterways, land and sky. I pay my respects to their elders, both past and present, and extend that respect to their youth who are their future leaders. I would like to acknowledge all other First Nations people that have joined us today and extend that respect and acknowledgement to our non-Aboriginal friends. I hope our ancestral spirits watch over us today as we try and make this world a better place. <laughs> 